Hey there everybody, Ben here, and I'm gonna show you my top five tips for saving battery life on an iPad. Uh, as you can see on my iPad here, I've got about 5% battery life okay um, I've got it plugged in um, but this is the very last thing that you want to see at the beginning of a busy school day uh, when you're about to start using your iPads with students so while there are lots of different ways to conserve batteries on your iPad uh, these are the five that I go to most often basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right down to settings okay and once we are in settings there are a few places that you want to go the first and uh, foremost is going to be right here in this main settings panel okay by default when you uh, get your iPad or when you uh, install a new system update Bluetooth is going to be on so I always tell people if you're not using a Bluetooth keyboard or any other Bluetooth device make sure that this is turned on off. Okay, so there it's on. I can see I've got a little icon up there. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. There we go. That's going to save me some battery life. All right, the second one is screen brightness. So I'm going to come down here. Here it says wallpapers and brightness, and you're not going to be able to see it very well on this uh, recording, but I can see it on my actual iPad. Is uh, I'm going to take this and I am going to go ahead and just drag it down. There we go. Especially if I'm in a brightly lit room like a room that's got a lot of fluorescent lights um, then I can go ahead and I can reduce that brightness and that'll help me out a lot alright so two others uh, that I'm gonna find right here in the uh, in, in the general I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna go ahead and come down here to auto lock you see this right here by default when uh, you uh, turn on your iPad it should be set to two minutes okay however maybe a student or maybe uh, somebody in your tech department or another teacher whatever has changed this to five to ten minutes you want to make sure this is on two minutes what this means is if the iPad becomes inactive or if somebody walks away from it within two minutes the screen will lock it'll go dark so that way it's not just wasting uh, energy displaying something on the screen that you're not using okay uh, the other one in the general settings is new for iOS 7 so even though uh, the devices in our school aren't all up on iOS 7 yet we're very very close um, there's a new setting here called background app refresh and this is in the general settings you can see mine is on right now but if I want to conserve battery power I'm gonna turn it off and of course it's going to give me this warning this will prevent all applications from using location services yeah that's okay we'll, we'll disable that alright that's gonna save battery life um, you can always go back and turn this back on and turn it on for specific apps if you want to but for now I'm gonna leave it off and you saw the last one right here when it's talking about location services that's my last tip is when you come down to privacy here okay in the privacy settings there's location services and location services again like the background app refresh these are things that happen in the background apps that need to identify where the iPad actually is in the world and I can come and just turn this off okay location services will be disabled for all apps but your personalized location ser service settings for apps will be temporarily restored okay that's fine I'm gonna turn that off now does some of these make your iPad less useful Yes, unfortunately, that is the uh, the, the trade-off when you're trying to conserve battery life. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn my location services back on. I actually like to have this one on, but if you are in an environment where you don't get to uh, charge your iPad very often, or you're not sure when you're going to be able to charge it next, then I would certainly uh, take a look at these five things: Bluetooth, make sure that's off, reduce your screen brightness. Uh, go into your general settings, make sure your uh, screen lock is set to the shortest amount of time, two minutes. Uh, take a look at the background app refresh. If it's really not crucial that apps are constantly updating in the background uh, with information, then you can turn that off. And then location services. Uh, if you don't need to use location services, you can turn that off as well. There are lots of other ways to conserve batteries on your iPads. Those are just the five that I found uh, impact my use of my iPad the least. There you go. I hope that helps.